Welcome back to the channel, everyone. My name is Alexander Howell, and I just wanted to tell you that we have been in Merida now for about three days. This is our third trip here, and we will be here for the next two and a half to three weeks after having traveled here but to the beachside in uh, Waimatu near Progresso for four weeks about a year and a half ago, and then staying here for a week earlier in, uh, actually later in 2020, right in between Christmas and New Year's, we came back down. And we have purchased a home here that's not going to look too dissimilar to this one, actually. But this is an Airbnb that we're staying in. You may notice that my voice is going to be a little echoey during this video, but that is because, one, I'm working on my mobile setup. And two, as most places are in Merida, you're going to find a lot of concrete, a lot of solid surfaces, not really much carpet or anything in the way of rugs. So apologies if the audio quality is a little bit different than it is in my home studio. But we're working with what we can. Here is the first couple of days that we've had in Merida. Hope you enjoy. Oh, and as always, please feel free to like and subscribe to the channel. Hit that little notification bell. That's going to let you know any time that I go live. And when I go live, you can ask me any questions that you want. There's always a little chat thing at the very uh, at the very right side of your screen. So that'll let you uh, be able to chat with me directly, ask me any questions that you might have. And obviously, any time one of these videos comes up, I do the exact same thing, only it's more chat than me interacting with you via video. But you can still do that, too. I'm always there for the premiere. So like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. That'll let you know any time that I go live. Also, feel free to visit me on these social media links. Alexander from KC, at Alexander from KC. Instagram is the main jam, but follow me anywhere. And Instagram is perfect for right now because I'm posting all kinds of pictures about Medida. So hope you enjoy those. And if you'd like, go to my website, alexanderhowell.com. Hit the contact us page. All that does is send an email directly to me if you have even more questions about these things. Anyway, enjoy the video. Thank you so much for watching. Now, for those of you who don't follow the channel, my name is Alexander Howell, and I focus on real estate and all kinds of other things. But for the most part, my videos have taken a nice turn into discussing the, the state of Yucatan and the city of Merida as a whole. Now, the city of Merida, the reason that it's so special to me is because we actually traveled here and then purchased a home here after not having been here for more than two and a half weeks. We fell in love with the city, fell in love with the town, and of course, fell in love with its people. This time, however, what we're here to do is check on construction of the home, just taking quite a lot of time to get through permits, COVID having a significant amount to do with that, but we also decided that we're going to bring family members down here to show them the city, show them what we fell in love with, and hopefully they enjoy it as much as we do. Now, the home that we purchased is actually in a neighborhood called Chen Beck. Now, if you're not familiar with Merida, that probably doesn't mean much, but think about it like this. The north side, for the most part of Merida, is the newer, um, I'll say maybe a little bit cleaner area. It's nothing negative towards any other place. It's just that's where everything's brand new. So it tends to be a little bit cleaner, a little bit more thought out, as opposed to where we currently are in Centro, which is the older part of the community. Now, most people, when they think about Medita properties, they think about these nice colonial homes. On the outside of this property, it is a concrete facade, very well decorated next to a couple of places that have not been renovated. And that's completely fine. That's actually one of the places that we bought, not next door, but a few blocks away in Chen Beck. So where we are now is the Santiago Santa Ana area near Paseo de Mateo. It's one of the most popular areas in Merida, and the Paseo de Mateo is kind of the main thoroughfare throughout Merida. It'll get you from the north side right into Centro, and it has one of the most beautiful drives you can possibly imagine. Now, as with most areas, if there are places that are being renovated, that means that they are next to places that have not been and don't look as good as they possibly could. You see that pretty much all throughout Manica, and that to me is the appeal of it. There are places that look a little disheveled. There are places that look like they were renovated yesterday and are absolutely beautiful, this place being one of them. Now, we are on what is called Calle 56, in between Calles 41 and 43. It's an Airbnb, beautiful place. Not sure why the guy isn't living here because it's absolutely wonderful. But again, from the outside, it looks like a normal place. On the inside, you can tell that it has been completely renovated and looks fantastic. And for the most part, what you're buying is kind of like in commercial real estate when they call it a white lot. You're buying the facade, you're buying the lot. And then for the most part, outside of historical properties, which this one most definitely fit in, you can renovate a lot of it. So the area that we're sitting in is actually in the middle of the overall lot of the property. And it has been, it's brand new. Everything is new. It's made to look a little bit older, look like it was part of the original facade, but it's not. And on that side, Past the pool, there are two bedrooms and kind of a living area. That is all original to the structure, and you can tell by the way that it's designed, they could not mess with it that much. Historically, they want to keep those original properties. You just do with them what you can. They've done a wonderful job, and I'll be posting a video of our Airbnb tour uh, before too long. But they've done a wonderful job, and then from that part back, you're able to do a lot more. And that is why there are elements of this that they try to make look a little bit old, elements that try to do the opposite. 
So what you're left with is modern features, like the beautiful chandelier with the pasta tile that you see behind me that is more of a traditional Yucatecan design. Now, we are one street, one calle back from Paseo de Mateo. So this location could not possibly be any better if it tried. And again, not to do a teaser, but I've just set this stuff up. So I promise you that you will have an Airbnb video coming up quickly. But I wanted to get this one out just to tell you guys that in the first 48 hours, here's what happened. So out of Kansas City, we took a United flight. Now United has actually been really good for us for the past few years, but unfortunately what we ran into was several delays. So it wasn't just the delay of three and a half hours on the initial flight out of Kansas City to Houston, but another hour, hour and a half delay from Houston to Medida. Now we knew that this trip was gonna take our kids out of their comfort zone on the flight because they normally go to bed about eight o'clock. We thought we'd be getting in about 10, 10.30. Unfortunately, when we ended up getting in was actually about 11.30 at night. Then you go through customs and there's several different processes there. Then you get the taxi and then it's about a 20 minute ride from there to the house. In that time, they had fallen asleep on the plane, woke up and were completely ridiculously awake by the time we got here to the point where we didn't really get them in bed until 1 to 1.30 in the morning. So starting off well. Positive is this place is absolutely beautiful. And we used an app called Rappi, R-A-P-P-I. And I absolutely recommend it if you come to Medida. This isn't a paid sponsorship. This is me telling you that it is one of the most convenient apps ever. Think of it like Uber Eats, but for, I believe it's Central America. It's, and correct me if I'm wrong on that. But Rappi is an absolutely wonderful app. They had food delivered the day before to our house. The person that was cleaning the house just grabbed it, threw it in the refrigerator or wherever it needed to be. And we were set for at least about a day just to make sure that we got settled, had food, had drinks, that kind of thing. So make sure that if you come down here and you need something delivered to you, Rappi, R-A-P-P-I. It was a wonderful app and we've actually used it several times in the first two days that we've been here. So the next thing that I have to say is when we came into the house, it was absolutely beautiful. It was obviously very late at night. None of us wanted to stay up and party. I did, but that's me. Anyway, it's <laughs> ridiculous statement. But anyway, we had a couple of drinks just to celebrate and then we all went to bed. The one negative and the only negative that I found about this Airbnb thus far is that it is in a location that is on a street and there's curfew here. So you don't have a lot of cars going back and forth at night but because the old part of the home is right on street level. You hear traffic like crazy. If a bike drives by, it sounds like a, a four wheeler is driving by. If an actual car drives by, it sounds like a semi. If it's a semi, it sounds like a train. It's the one negative I found about the entire house and we found a way to get around it. It's very, very simple. We just moved a couple of things around, all done. We didn't need to be there anymore. But something to think about, if you know that there's a bedroom right next to the street, it's uh, it's gonna be loud. So just think about that. But we got past that, it's a five bedroom house. We have six people here now, the two kids are in one room and then two couples in the other. It's worked out perfectly. Now, on the other side of that, the pool is here, the terraces are here. It is August in Medio de Mexico. May is their hottest month, but August, you can boil eggs outside for free if you'd like to. It is incredibly hot, it's incredibly humid. That's just one of those things that you either like or don't like about Merida. I personally can handle the heat, especially if I'm outside for most of the day and I come into a house like this one that has air conditioning. Perfect, fantastic. There's a mini split right up there that you can't see because it's just off frame. But air conditioning is your friend, fans are your friend, overhangs are your friend to keep you away from the sun. It has been very easy to get over, especially when there's a pool right there. So where have we gone? It's actually been kind of a little bit of a relaxing trip thus far. We have plans to go to a lot of different places. My niece and her boyfriend are actually heading down to Chichen Itza on Monday, uh, which may be when this video comes out. So if they are, congratulate them for that. But we've done a beach trip to a wonderful place called Kokomo, and I hope I'm getting this right, Kokomo Club de Playa. Kokomo Club de Playa. And you can get a day pass, but it's also a wonderful looking hotel, and I highly recommend it. But it's very close to Telchac Puerto on the coast. They have an amazing setup, beautiful beach. They have a place for the people that are staying at the hotel and places for people like us that just bought a day pass. But the day pass was very cheap. I think we spent a hundred bucks or something like that for six people to get in there. Fantastic beach, great staff, good food, good drinks. Highly recommend. If you're gonna have a day trip to the beach, go to Kokomo, Kokomo Club de Playa. Ah, got that time. So only took a couple of times, it's okay. So we ended up hiring a private driver, which again, did not cost that much money. And for my opinion, is far safer because you don't wanna be drinking and driving on the road. And unless our kids could drive, everybody was having at least one drink. It could have been a beer, whatever. We're having a good time. We were relaxing. It wasn't like we were going crazy, but always make sure that you have a driver. And that's exactly what we did. So what we ended up doing is taking it from there, going 
to Progresso, which is kind of the main town along the beach. It has the grocery stores, the places where you just kind of need to go to pick up stuff if you're not in Merida, but you're along the coast. Now, because it has that, it's very populated and very popular. And Malacón has all these different places, restaurants and stuff like that. And the one that we stopped at that we'd never gone to before is called Crabster. And you heard that right. It's called Crabster. And it's fancy and it's awesome. Had some of the best food I've ever had in my life. Pro tip, if you go to Crabster, get the crispy Crabster. It's wonderful. It is giant shrimps, fried shrimps, or I guess bread at least toasted bread and this blue cheese and like Gouda or something sauce. It's just blue cheese and Gouda or something. I can't remember exactly what the cheese is, but it tastes like heaven. In fact, if I go to heaven, it's gonna be a vodka tonic and that crispy crabster sitting right there. But anyway, it was absolutely amazing. Highly recommend crabster. If it's your first stop in Progresso, that is absolutely where I would say you need to go first because it is going to set precedent for everything else that's gone. Now then when we came back, we just been having a really good time, relaxing, hanging out by the pool, jumping in the pool, Really, the kids have just been by the pool. Cooking dinners here, again, the Rappi app, they've delivered everything to us and it's been fantastic. But we've just been chilling here. My niece and her boyfriend have been traveling all up and down to Cerro de Mateo. They've gone to all the parks, Santa Ana, Santa Lucia, and of course, Plaza Grande. We have just been kind of walking around when my kids aren't ridiculously tired and it's not a thousand degrees outside. But that's kind of the first 48 hours. A wonderful beach trip, hanging out in the city, relaxing like crazy, meeting other expats, things like that, and obviously, injecting ourselves into the local population as much as we can because it is a fantastic place to be. So guys, there's going to be so much more to come. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, my name is Alexander Howell. Please feel free to visit me at alexanderhowell.com. Go to the contact us page, sends me an email directly to me. Hit these social media links at Alexander from KC is where you can find me. Instagram is my main thing, but I'm on a lot of other stuff as well, as probably most of you are. And obviously text me if you have any questions, 816-727-7740. I know a lot of you communicate with me like that, and I absolutely love getting those. And feel free to visit our uh, Facebook group, Travel to Medi. That's going to be right here. And uh, if you visit that Facebook group, you're going to find out that there's a lot of good people in there. I think we're up to 70 plus members at this point, but it's just question, answer, or share your experience about traveling to Medida. No cattiness, no ridiculousness. We have a well-monitored. It's a really good, positive group of people to be in there. And not to forget one thing, but please feel free to like and subscribe to this channel. Hit the little notification bell, especially as I'm in Medida. Liking and subscribing to the channel is going to let you know anytime that I either go live streaming or I upload one of these videos for you guys to enjoy, hopefully educate. And if you have questions, obviously, just comment down below. I always forget something in these videos. So your comments help me either say, good job, or I have a question, or what was that about? So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. But guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing to the channel. And if you do join the channel as a traveler or a voyager, which if you go to the main channel button, there's a little button there. Feel free to do that. It helps me produce better and better content. And obviously, uh, make sure that you guys enjoy the video and get everything out of this channel that you possibly can. And to be honest, it's very uh, enjoyable in here. I'm going to go make another cocktail. But as always...